Keir Starmer has said he will make absolutely zero apologies for being blunt after receiving heavy criticism from across the political spectrum over a labor attack ad campaign. In an opinion piece for the Daily Mail, the labor leader said he will stand by every word labor has said and would continue to use the Tory record on crime as a legitimate criticism. He added that he would do so no matter how squeamish it might make some feel. The party posted the first attack ad claiming that Rishi Sunak does not think child sex abusers should go to prison last Thursday afternoon. It also pointed to the conservative record on offenders avoiding jail. The second advert posted to the Labour's social media channels on Friday featured the same picture of Rishi Sunak smiling alongside the words Do you think an adult convicted of possessing a gun with intent to harm should go to prison? Rishi Sunak doesn't. The ads drew heavy criticism. Several Labour MSPs called the ad campaign ill-judged, with Monica Lennon calling on the party apologize amidst a wished-for-Labour government culture emerging and former Scottish Labour leader Richard Leonard calling for the first ad featuring the Prime Minister to be deleted. SNP MP John Nicholson called the ads revolting. The SNP Shadow Culture Secretary added that he had previously stood up for Labour leader Keir Starmer against false claims, but the party seems to have no such vision of honesty. In his opinion piece, Starmer defended the decision to run the ads. He wrote, For the first time in my lifetime, everywhere you look, from the economy to the NHS to the chaos on our streets, we have been set on a path of decline. Starmed added that Labour would continue to challenge the Tories on uncomfortable issues, and seem to address those within his own party that have called the ads into question. He said, Too many people treat this as trivial, unimportant or something Labour shouldn't talk about. Working people suffer when crime is left unchallenged, crime will always be a labor issue. Try telling the people I meet who are scared to go out at night, because their communities suffer the brunt of failures to tackle crime, that law and order doesn't matter. They will give you short shrift. I make absolutely zero apologies for being blunt about this. I stand by every word labor has said on the subject, no matter how squeamish it might make some feel. When 4,500 child abusers avoid prison, People don't want more excuses from politicians, the party's, they want answers. Um, Twitter channel yesterday um, afternoon. Um, it essentially has a picture of Rishi Sunak and then alongside that picture text saying, do you think adults convicted of sexually assaulting children should go to prison? Rishi Sunak doesn't. It then points out that under the Tories, 4,500 adults convicted of sexually assaulting children under 16 served no prison time. I think the difficulty here is that what Labour are doing is taking a sort of broad figure and trying to pin it directly.